hello guys uh, welcome back to my channel so in last video we uh, updated the animation uh, made the cursor available and added the click sound so in this video we will add some uh, uh, images and uh, uh, change the overlay states based on the button we click so i have some pngs already downloaded uh, with me so i'll i'll add one by one uh, to the buttons so I'll just uh, show for only for the couple of buttons. Uh, it's just the same one and the same. Yeah, you can uh, uh, follow it. So for each image, uh, for each button, we have already added the image uh, image item. So we just need to assign the, the right image there. So for top, I'll uh, keep uh, starch. And uh, enter the right size for it. I'll pass one. Left, I'll assign it to uh, pistol. right to rifle and the stop left top left I last need to buy not So you have to make sure uh, you create all your images of same size so that it, it looks good uh, when, when you import it. Even here, uh, mine the torch looks a bit uh, bigger, but for demonstration it's okay. But when you make it, uh, make sure you make them up of uh, equal size. And for top, top right, I'll assign bow. So now we have the items here, uh, but when this is hovered, there is no uh, identification of whether we have hovered or not, or whether this button will work or not. So we will make some color changes to the image uh, when we hover. So click on each button. And on hovered, uh, if you are taking the bottom button, take the bottom image and set image color. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll make a small function here. colors and the inputs will be image type is again image select this and we'll use the same function for uh, and the second parameter is hovered and set this to boolean so that we can use the same function whenever we want and the branch here and then here from image set color and opacity so this is a simple way of uh, showing the difference between when it is hovered and uh, not hovered uh, you can use your own methods as I said uh, 
you can assign different images here for the buttons when it is hovered pressed you can increase the tint here uh, upload a different image so you can do that I'm just showing one of the way of uh, showing this difference and uh, color I'm showing an yellow fish okay so this is fine uh, the reason i have put this in the function is so that you can call the same function for each button you don't need to uh, uh, set this for uh, uh, each button and if you want to change the color you can change it in the function instead of modifying it at every point so here uh, on howard uh, image color and just input the image here and hover this true and similarly for uh, bottom button and hover copy this and put this to reverse so similarly uh, do it for uh, each button I'm just doing a fast forward here So as you can see there is an uh, yellow shade here and the images I have chose here uh, doesn't complement it much so that's the reason it's not showing but I'll, I'll change those uh, images to the ones I had already so you can see the yellow tint here so that how that's how I can uh, set uh, the variation for hover down and hover uh, as I said, this is only one of the method uh, to do this. Uh, you can you can uh, try different ways also. So next video we will uh, add the functionalities for each button. Thanks for watching. Bye.